Hey everybody, it's Wendy. Welcome to the 12 weeks of Christmas week number six. So excited that you're here today. I have this beautiful gift to show you. It was so much fun making this. So I got the Coke bottles for this at Target and I also grabbed some hot tamales and Mike and Ikes. Now I really wanted green and red M&Ms, but frankly it's too early in the season and they didn't have them out yet. So I dumped the Coke out of these bottles. I washed them because I don't drink soda. So I washed them out really good, tipped them upside down and let them dry overnight. And I was really careful taking the lids off the first time. And I was able to pop the lids right back on and they stayed in place. So super cute. These Coke bottles are great because they have the green label. Here's all the pieces of paper that you need. You need a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock, and then you need some layering pieces and all the details for that are over on my blog. Um, I'll, I'll give those details throughout the video here, but really I would suggest visiting my blog and getting the downloadable. Okay, the cool thing about this is you only need one piece of 12 by 12 cardstock. You're gonna cut your first piece at seven and a quarter by 12, and then you need two smaller pieces cut at, um, just left me, <laughs> cut at two and three eighths by four and a quarter. So you need two of those. And those are going to be the inserts for the inside of the box to separate the Coke bottles. Honestly, it just gives some um, strength to the box. Then you'll have a piece of leftover cardstock that you can use to make your tags. Okay, we are going to be scoring... Uh, at two and a half and nine and a half and then and that's on the long side and then I'm going to turn the paper 90 degrees and we're going to score at two and a half and four and three quarters so the center of this box is only two and a quarter wide and the sides are two and a half inches tall so they come up on each side nice and tall for the coke bottles to be held in your little pieces that you cut for the center of the box need to be scored at one inch from each end so just stick them up there, score it one inch, turn it all the way around, and score it one inch again. If you don't already have the Simply Scored scoring tool, I highly recommend getting it. It's an awesome tool to have in your crafting arsenal. You can purchase it on my blog. Um, all of my supplies are listed in the video below, or excuse me, are listed in the description below the video. Uh, okay, so I'm trimming off here on these outside tabs, and you saw that I trimmed in on both tabs on the end, only to the score line that creates the base of the box. And then I'm trimming these off because they are too long to fold up, so you need to trim them off. And now we're going to be adding all of the adhesives and the layers. So this Whisper White cardstock here is cut at six and three quarters by two and a quarter and the small pieces are two and a quarter by two and then the designer series paper which is the be merry designer series paper is cut at six and a half by two and the small pieces are two by one and three quarters those are my layered pieces so super simple and it was so much easier to lay this flat and add all the adhesive and all the layers and then assemble the box so you're just going to bend in the ends of those tabs and add them, uh, uh, fold them up and put them in the box. Now, before you put in your dividers, you need to put all three of your Coke bottles into the box. You need to do that because you need to know where to put your dividers. It's so much easier than trying to measure, um, in, in my opinion. I mean, you might be able to measure and do it better than I, but for me, this was the easiest. And to make this a little bit easier, I could have taken two of the Coke bottles out and then put them back in. I just wasn't thinking when I was putting it in there. Um, but the easiest thing is to have the Coke bottles in, bend these little tab pieces in like this, set it into the box, the, the divider piece into the box with the tabs facing the direction in whichever direction you want them, but the adhesive facing out. Set it in there and then just kind of pinch and it will adhere to the outsides of the box. I then took my bone folder and kind of just jabbed it down in there and ran it along the sides to make sure everything was adhered really well. Then I could take my bottles out and look at, I have this really cute box. You could use this box for lots of things. 
But I also wanted to take my stitched framelits, I used my stitch oval framelit here to cut out three tags. This is that leftover piece of crumb cake cardstock that now I need to make my tags with. Now I played around with the Labels of Love stamp set and I stamped several different images and I actually tried some of them in garden green and some of them in real red. In the end I felt like the real red just was much prettier. It went with the candy that was in the bottles and I really really liked it. It kind of tied the red candy in with the project since um, the box and the jars had green on them. So it, it gave extra pop I guess is what I'm saying. So I'm using my awesome everyday label punch to punch these out and this ends up being a really quick project. Now my blog post says make six gifts for five bucks. Basically if you own all this stuff you're going to make it for three um, but if you need to purchase any of these items the great thing about them is they're all reusable. The stamp set, the inks, the punch. So it's an investment that you're just going to have each year. The labels are super cute and there are labels in there that also work for Thanksgiving and for Valentine's Day. So this, this stamp set will go far for you. I'm using Whisper White Baker's Twine to tie all of these on to the bottles and I punched a hole with just a regular hole punch, hole punch that I had hanging around. And there we go, we're all done. Now you could give these individually um, or you could put the whole box together and give all three in a box. I'm probably gonna be giving mine to my sister-in-law who loves hot tamales. All right, thanks so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. There are more videos, click on any of the images that you see here to watch those videos. The little circle with my face in it is a subscription to my YouTube channel so you'll get notifications when I put up a new video. And you can also give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.